there's never been a spacecraft before that attempted to orbit the planet Mercury. Once we're in orbit around Mercury, we face a severe thermal challenge. In fact, there's two of them. One is the sun, because the sun is as much as 11 times brighter at Mercury's orbit than it is at Earth's orbit. And MESSENGER solves that with a shade, a parasol, this sunshade made out of a ceramic silicate cloth. Uh, is such a good insulator that the sun facing side is 350 degrees centigrade at Mercury's closest approach to the sun, but the back side, where all the instruments are, where all the electronics are, stays at room temperature. And so we can use conventional electronics in these systems. Um, we can't do that with the solar arrays. The solar arrays must face the sun, they're the source of power on the spacecraft, so we had to go to some special designs with uh, electronics that could withstand high temperatures to the use of mirrors, which you see here alternating with the solar cells on these panels to reflect a lot of the solar energy. And we also needed to articulate the solar arrays so that as we got close to the sun, uh, we could control temperature by their angle. But I said there were two thermal hazards at Mercury, uh, one being the sun, the other is Mercury itself. Because uh, the Mercury surface in daylight is so hot, more than 400 degrees centigrade, uh, it radiates that heat back out. And we can't shield ourselves from Mercury. We are, after all, studying the planet. We need to face the surface. And so uh, a variety of clever thermal designs on instruments, on the choice of orbit, uh, on the timing for when we go into orbit relative to day and night, all factored in to deal with the high temperatures from Mercury.